Education is an integral component to Cumberland County's economy. It is crucial that education satisfies the needs of the workforce in our community. That is why it is so important that we identify the educational needs of our local businesses. Over 60% of Pennsylvania students enroll in a college or university after high school graduation. Most do so in hopes of earning a higher income. Historically, parents and educators have pushed their students into higher learning with the idea that any degree will merit a high-paying, secure job regardless of the field of study. Unfortunately, many college graduates find themselves ill-equipped for the job market, even with their degrees. They may find that they have not been adequately prepared to satisfy the needs of the current job market. The difference between advanced education and the skill set demanded by the workforce often causes the graduate to accept employment in a gray-collar job. These candidates are overeducated for the positions in which they now find themselves and, consequently, are underpaid. Tuition costs have increased explosively, greatly outpacing inflation. Some private four-year institutions have increased their tuition costs by over 200%. Public schools have increased their tuition over 270% since the 1970s. There are still upsides to a college degree. For instance, a college graduate is less likely to be laid off during recession and more likely to be hired back when the economy recovers. The fact needs to be considered that not all fields of study pay the same, and not all colleges offer the same majors. Also, some fields of study require or encourage graduate degrees before entering the workforce. Over the years, our economy has transitioned to a primarily service-based workforce. These service-based jobs offer a combination of high and low skilled employment. Higher education is still needed in some form to fulfill the needs of this type of workforce. Now, there are over 30 occupations that require only an associate's degree or less, with predicted growth offering wages above the average per capita income. Future career growth in fields such as the technology sector that would require training and technical knowledge or only an associate's degree level of education are sure to increase over the coming years. This year, the number of retired individuals will increase to over 56%, while the population of school-aged children will decrease by around 15%. The workforce is on track to lose thousands of people. Obviously, this disproportionate demand is going to create a problem. Because the baby boomers had fewer children than their parents did, school enrollment dropped dramatically. This has left businesses in dire need of applicants to fill available positions. In the current job market, for every job that requires a master's degree, there are two jobs that require a bachelor's degree and seven that require an associate's degree or less. The job market breakdown of this 1 to 2 to 7 ratio has been in place since 1950 and will continue for the foreseeable future, even if the economy grows. To meet the needs of the current job market, we need to shift the focus from college for all to a post-high school credential for all. It is vital to our community and our economy that we provide a pathway to success for our students. Unfortunately, the current education model, which is costing our economy millions of dollars, is not serving us or our students well. We must therefore change our approach to post-high school education and guide Cumberland County students to successful careers and economic success. But how do we do this? Say a student is trying to decide between the career as a plumber or a career in business management. The average income for a plumber in Pennsylvania is around $55,000 annually, or as a business manager may earn over $100,000 annually. At first, when comparing these two careers, it would seem that the career in business management would be the better choice by far. But hold on, when you consider interests, aptitudes, and skill sets, the choice needs further consideration. What if a student had the aptitude and interest to become an excellent plumber and could be a top performer in the industry? Now imagine that the same student lacked the aptitude and passion to become an excellent business manager. Their income would most likely reflect that. Plumbers at the top of the pay scale may earn $90,000 annually or more but a business manager at the bottom of the pay scale may make as little as $50,000 annually. 
Since we now live in a knowledge-based economy, developing and perfecting a set of useful skills that are needed by the workforce is far more valuable than obtaining a degree just to simply have one. Employers can assist students in ascertaining where they excel and what they may be interested in. Businesses can offer internships, seminars, and apprenticeships. This gives the student an opportunity to experience different careers around them. We need to focus our efforts into guiding students to careers in which they can be successful provide them with the knowledge, skills, and training that are in demand by today's workforce. Investments in career programs for high schools, technical schools, and other institutions are vital in preparing tomorrow's workforce.